Follow us on social media. Support us on Patreon. All links in description below. The United States has conducted its sixth successful test of a new long-range anti-ship missile, or LRASM. On March 19, Lockheed Martin released a press statement stating that the U.S. Air Force had successfully tested Lockheed's long-range anti-ship missile off the coast of California. During the test, a B-1B from the 337th Test Squadron at Dias Air Force Base, Texas, launched a LRASM over the sea range at Point Muju, California, successfully impacting the maritime target and meeting test objectives, the press release said. David Helsel, the LRASM program director at Lockheed, was quoted in the press release as saying, LRASM has now proven itself in six consecutive flight missions. The reliability and outstanding capability of LRASM will provide an unmatched weapon to our warfighter in their quest for sea control in contested environment. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S.'s LRASM will be a potent threat to Russia and China. Number 5 The anti-ship firepower is badly needed, as the U.S. Navy has allowed its capabilities in this area to deteriorate in recent decades. For a long time, America's naval ships relied on the increasingly archaic Harpoon missile to fight against adversary surface fleets. That missile, which was first deployed in the 1970s, only has a range of 70 to 150 miles, depending on the variant. This put the U.S. Navy at a disadvantage compared to countries like Russia and China. Russia's deployed BrahMos. The BrahMos cruise missile is produced by India-based BrahMos Aerospace, set up in 1998, and is a joint venture between India's Defense Research and Development Organization (DRDO) and Russia's NPO Machina Stroyenya. BrahMos is one of the fastest cruise missiles in operation and travels at speeds of Mach 2.8 to 3.0. India and Russia has recently decided to extend the range of BrahMos missile to 800 km from the current 300 km. Russia's also successfully tested a hypersonic cruise missile. The Kinzhal or Dagger was one of the weapons the Russian president unveiled in his State of the Nation address. Kinzhal reportedly has a range of approximately 1,250 miles or 2,000 kilometers and a top speed of more than 10 times the speed of sound. According to the Russian president, units in the country's southern military district, which borders Ukraine and the Black Sea, have deployed the missiles operationally. China deploys the YJ-18. The YJ-18 is a Chinese family of anti-ship and land attack cruise missiles. Western analysts believe the YJ-18 is a copy of the Russian caliber 3M54E, with a cruising range of 180 km or 110 miles at Mach 0.8, and a sprint range of 40 km or 25 miles at Mach 2.5 to 3.0. Chinese media has recently published never-before-seen footage of its DF-10 nuclear cruise missiles, capable of reaching U.S. military bases in Japan and South Korea. Carrying nuclear warheads weighing up to 500 kilos, the DF-10 longsword missiles, with a range of 930 miles, can be mounted on missile trucks, submarines, or warships. Some variations also feature stealth technology and supersonic speeds. Number four. LRASM is a DARPA and U.S. Navy-funded program meant to provide the U.S. Navy and Air Force with an offensive anti-surface weapon to counter the growing threats from anti-access, area-denial doctrines. The program began under DARPA in 2009 and leverages existing technology from the Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile Extended Range Program. Its development was fast-tracked under the Pentagon Better Buying Power 3.0 program with the expectation that it would serve as a stopgap solution to compensate for the Navy's aging Harpoon anti-ship missiles. In 2016, the Pentagon began modifying the SM-6 standard missile, which is usually used for anti-missile and air defense missions, to serve as an immediate stopgap capability. In its anti-ship variant, the SM-6 has a range of over 200 miles but an extremely small warhead relative to the Harpoon. LRASM will combine the best of both worlds a missile with a long range and massive warhead, on top of its ability to operate in electronic warfare environments. Number three. LR 
Our ASM has a reported range of 500 nautical miles and carries a 1,000-pound penetrator and blast fragmentation warhead. LRASM is primarily designed to provide the U.S. Navy and Air Force with a precision-guided, long-range standoff capability that can survive in aggressive electronic warfare environments. To achieve this, it uses onboard sensors and semi-autonomous guidance system to reduce its dependence on intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR, platforms, network links and GPS navigation. It also employs innovative terminal survivability approaches and precision lethality to avoid advanced enemy countermeasures while still reaching its intended target. Number two. The LRASM tackles two problems the U.S. Navy has. It has a longer range and is more survivable due to its electronics and stealth. The one thing it still lacks compared to Russian, Indian and Chinese counterparts is speed. The LRASM is subsonic, meaning that the CIWS, in other words, close-in weapon systems of enemy ships have quite a long time to shoot at it. It basically trades speed for range and will rely on stealth to defeat medium-range defense systems. Number 1 While it will someday be on ships, LRASM will initially be operated by the U.S. Air Force from its B-1B bombers and the U.S. Navy from the F-A-18 ENF, which operates from aircraft carriers. The initial LRASMs are expected to be operational in 2018. The U.S. Navy will hold a competition for the Offensive Air Surface Warfare Increment 2 anti-ship missile as a follow-up on LRASM to enter service in 2024. The OASUW Increment 2 competition will be completely open. It's expected the LRASM will compete against the Joint Kongsberg Raytheon offering of the Joint Strike Missile JSM, for air launch needs and an upgraded Raytheon Tomahawk cruise missile for surface launch needs. Sweden has publicly expressed interest in the LRASM in response to concerns of Russian actions in Eastern Europe. The United Kingdom and Canada have also expressed interest in the missile. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.